Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a Medieval City. The goal of today is to get the dock completed, as in like all of the walls done and it all joined up to the land above. I'm just placing down these stairs here. Uh, as you can see, when I get to the top here, we know where the dock is going to join up to roughly, but the land itself, well let's turn these off because it makes the uh, vision go all blurry when we get too close to a block. But as you can see, it's all messy at the top here. The land isn't straight. There's parts sticking up and sticking out. We need to sort that out and find out how much of the dock, how far it's going to go back and all that kind of business. We know what the walls can look like at the front. We need to design a smaller wall to go on this side because obviously putting that wall on this side isn't going to make sense because the dock's halfway up it. The bottom level is just going to match the terrain. So we can do that one really easily first and get rid of this stupid tree that's grown right in the middle. Did I did I put it there or was it always there? I can't remember. <laughs> I don't think I grew a tree in there. That would have been silly. I can't see me doing anything silly. <laughs> hey, get away. Get out of here. Nobody wants you, tree. And then we'll just... I don't know. I'll probably take these ones out as well. Get out of here. Go away. Okay. And then this is going to actually go around the edge. So this is just going to literally follow the contour of the uh, mountain here. Look. Fell in the water. So we'll put this one in first. And then we have the logs or planks, not logs. Joined up like this. And that'll sort out the bottom on this side. I don't know how much uh, we need to do on the other side. Can we see on the map? Yeah, there's a little a little line that we need to put in. So handy having a mini map. Should be default in Minecraft. Get rid of this tree. Get out of here. You keep this. You, you can keep your stump. I'll allow you to keep your stump. And there we go. So that's joined up. Just gone round the edge of the mountain there. Um, I'll probably get rid of the stone that I can see in there though. Just replace it with dirt. Okay, and then we'll go to the other side, and that'll be the bottom nicely finished off. Now down the bottom here, um, we'll probably have like a few little market stalls and stuff, but the market's mostly going to be on the second level. Uh, let's just put this around here, like that and that's that part done the wall needs to continue on or do something i don't know quite what we're going to do there yet uh but down here will be like lobster pots there'll be access onto the boats like little sort of wooden docks that sort of stick out and stuff like that uh but yeah now what we need to do is work out the size of this area now i think we've already worked out this edge we know this edge is going to be to there because we've got the uh staircase joining up to there it can come out a little bit and, and follow the contour of the curve that we've got here. The same over here. It can come out and join up to somewhere. We need to leave at least three... What is it? Four blocks? Three blocks. We're doing four blocks. Two blocks for the uh, pathway. So we know that, for example, uh, it needs to be somewhere here. Wherever that is in line with. One block too high. So somewhere there. Hello, phone. Like that. Let me just check that. Because I'm waiting for a, a text at the moment. Nope, it's nothing. Okay. Get rid of that. Okay, so we know that's going to join up to there. Uh, but how far back do we want to go? Do we want to go back all the way to this stair here? Probably. And uh, it looks like we're one block out. So I'll just add another one there. So we now know that it's going to join from there up to there. What's going to be the easiest way to do this? I think probably literally just carving a hole in the mountain for the moment. We'll go one block down. And then I'll go over to this corner here. We'll float up in the air. Make sure we're in line. Uh, pause, pause two, and uh, set air. Whoa, mouse. So let's just cut away there now. We know that this part needs to be. What block is this? Five one. Set five one. Uh, this part will we can do by hand once we've got the wall in. And this part, I'll probably have like a little wall that goes up the side there, but like literally a small one, maybe a decorative one. So maybe we'll, we'll go over here and I'll do like a nice curve. That could be cool. So we'll go from there to there and do that. Okay. Uh, let's construct on this side first, then we'll do the other side uh, once we sort of get a better idea. So we know this is going to have to go up here. I'm just following the land for the moment. It's fine. Uh, that stay to there. This needs to go up uh, something like that. Get some stairs in. Uh, do I want to go there? Slab. After we've done all of the walls and everything, we can then put in the mossy stuff to make it look a little bit more um, 
not quite as clean at the moment having all normal stone brick looks a little bit too clean for me i like to have a little bit more sort of mess on it okay now let's do a nice curve here so let's go like four blocks in then a two and a one and a two uh, and then i don't have four so i have to do three unless i moved it back by one and then we've got three two one two three and just sort of curves it off there nicely and that'll probably be like uh, grass in there. It'll have some sort of plants or something going on in there. Some nice shrubbery going on. Uh, I think that'll be good. Okay. Uh, on this side, let's get the wall up to the same height. Now, I can't do any pattern, really, on a wall uh, that curves this much. If it curves a little bit or it drops back or forward, we can do like what we've done with this banking here. We can just sort of do the pattern. It slowly sort of goes back and then out again. But up here, it's uh, it's too sharp of a corner. So instead, we're just going to do it blank. Uh, and then hopefully when we put in the cracked stone blocks and the mossy ones like we have down here, it should just look okay how it is. We can always add some slabs, some walls, some things like that in uh, to sort of help out afterwards. What's going to be the easiest way to do this? 98. I don't like slow methods. I like fast methods. <laughs> got a big goal today a big goal this episode to do that one and that one that one that's the problem with doing big walls like this castle walls are not uh, a quick and easy job to do they take a long long time okay and then that goes back to we need it to go back to here is that in line try and fall on it yeah, it was perfect. Okay. Uh, and then if we wanted to, we could make this part go in. Uh, but it might be nice just to have that as like a, a, a top area for... Oh, it's five blocks, not four. It's three blocks. I thought it was only two blocks for the slabs in here, but it's three. That's no problem. It's not going to affect anything. In fact, it's probably going to make things a little bit better. So this goes back here. Wraps around in there. And yeah, this could be like a, a nice sort of top watchtower area. Maybe even with a staircase going up to this part. Have we got enough room to do a staircase that goes up there? Stair. Stair. If uh, we go stick with the three blocks wide. Is one block thick wall there going to be big enough for us? Yeah, that should be fine. Three. One. Oh yeah, we're going to get up in plenty of time. Just to make a sort of a nice wrap round area. Oh, too high. Okay. Something like that. Maybe put a little block in there so it's a little bit more of a curve. That should should be pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Battlement goes on the top. How does it look like when we back off here? Yeah, you know, it doesn't actually look that bad just like that. Once we get we can do this sort of top wrapping around that's not a problem this part we can't really do um it just won't look right maybe i can try and do the cobblestone curves in there it would be nice if i could just get one more let's try that how many blocks it was, it was just one block between so we'll go up there then it goes in and up one in one two three and then up one and then one two three four five one two three four five and then down one three blocks and down three blocks and then down to the floor you know that matches up pretty good doesn't it so it's that curve that's that curve but wrapped around the corner and this one up here just goes around like that And then, I don't know how many blocks it was between each one. Three blocks. So we go one, two, three. That one. That one. That one. One, two, three. That one. That one. That one. One, two, three. That one. That one. That one. One, two, three. Perfect. And then there was a block below. Wasn't there? Was it just a, a fence or something? Or a stair on either side? Uh, I do it that way and that way because it's right at the corner. That one and 
that one will work fine there. Okay, we just stand back here. See, that's not too bad. Maybe we can get that detail in there. I'll do that later on, though. That's not a problem. I can do that. All right. Uh, next part, the wall needs to go up again to the same height. How high is that? Up to there. And do that one. This is only a, a shorter corner, so this one won't take anywhere near as long. There. There. That one. That one. And then to there. Okay, so that's what we'll up. Maybe I can do another one of those big curves on that section if we've got enough room. That would be nice. Uh, and then this also needs to have, I, I want to keep that with the same distance so we have the uh, slabs in look. So we have like a, what, what am I trying to say, like the, the um, wall, yeah, what, battlement area to go on top. So one, two, three. Um, but that'll be the end sort of of it there. I'll come back here. leaving that block in like that just so we have a bit more of a curve and then that block needs uh, it can go a little bit further can't it yeah because we need to have uh, the walls gonna be on this one like, like that and then we're gonna have three blocks for the thing so then the wall will end up there if we wanted it to be the same which I think we do so let's continue that forward to there, put a curve in. That's just a nice simple curve for us to do. Yeah, lovely. As you can see on this side now, it's not uh, high, not very high at all, which we don't need it high to look into the city, do we? That would be pointless. So then we can run this one now down here. Try and keep it in line. Uh, I can go all the way up to here, can't I? Is that 98? Beautiful. So, as you can see, we're starting to sort of pen this area in. Now, hopefully you guys can sort of see what we're trying to get from this, where we're trying to go with it. This wall can go in here. Oops, not fences. Am I on the block or am I away from the block? I don't know. We'll just try there. Set 98. Was I right? I was right. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, it only leaves us one block. <laughs> uh, I might as well fill that all up with stone. Because uh, what, what's the point of leaving a, a channel of one block? There's, there's no point. So we'll just fill that up there. And then fill those up like that. Great. Cool. Battlements go on them. Uh, that'll work out fine. Uh, on this side... We want it to go across to here. One, two, three to that one. To there. And then that one. All the way to the wall here. I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, I need to go down by what is it? Oh, only one block. Beautiful. Go out. Anything we need to fill yet? Yeah, little two block gap here. So this is going to be where all the markets stalls are going to be, where like all of the selling and trading is going to go on. Uh, this piece of land here now needs to go. In fact, let's just go up. Select that one. Oh no, because the uh, the wall's going to be in there, isn't it? One, two, three. Yeah, it's only the end. It's going to work out perfectly. That one. that one take that away take that one away oops why has it gone over I want that one to that one that's better much better all right just drop that down by one so we can put the slabs to have a little bit of a turn on there Uh, can I put the slabs? Yeah, I can. I can I can auto-place all those. 
and come to there to here set no replace air with 126 I don't need a corner on here. I like the idea of having like square corners on these parts. Excellent. I'm going to have to have a, a way to get up into there. That, that's not a problem. We can deal with that later. Even if I, I could put it in like here, couldn't we? And have the staircase going up this section. We'll put it in. Otherwise, I'll forget. Stair. I want to have access to everywhere. Like, we want this city to be really compact. That's the whole idea. That's the, the image that I've got in mind for this is, is compact, really tight together. The houses are tight. The market's tight. The dock's going to be packed full of life. And, uh, but we want access to all of the walls. We want sort of hidden act ways that you can go and all that kind of business. All right, I really like that. Obviously, we need to do that thing on this side. Uh, that's kind of stuff I can do off camera though because we've already done it once. We know how the battlements go. They're just two stairs back to back so I can wrap those around. Uh, in fact, yeah, let me do that. I'll finish off this side now and I should be back. All right, just a quick progress update. We're not done yet, but I've got the walls up on this side all the way around. And I've got the little sort of trellis top detail with the little stairs underneath it. It looks so much better already. See, this is what I had in my head but it's really hard to get an idea across to you guys through just like speech and me pointing my finger at stuff once you see it bill i think uh i think that really helps and i'm really happy with how this is turning out it looks like a little mini castle on its own uh given that more sort of you know uh towering feeling you know that we want that sort of confined city feel and that's what it's going to do because of these walls here it looks so cool i love that part as well like the stairs on either side of that that looks really, really nice. Uh, I'm not going to do it on this side as well. Uh, but I don't think on this side, originally, we were going to have this, uh, like, crossroads and have, like, a section here of uh, a little marketplace on this side. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have the wall come all the way across here now and then have the land join up to that. This land here join up to that. Uh, I think a little, bit, a little bit better. I think that'll give a more multi-leveled feeling, which is what we're going for, which is what we wanted in the first place. So, yeah. I'm happy. I'll be back. All right. There's the second wall. So it's just a, a 90 degree sort of curved corner here. At the moment, there's no way to get up onto it. But that's that's not an issue. We can literally like, I don't know, we could go somewhere here. Look, let's put one in now. Oh, and also while we're doing this, uh, the battlements here. Uh, a tip that I always do, and I think it always looks best to, is to keep the battlements in line with each other. So see as I go down here, all of the battlements are in line. If I go here, they're in line and they're in line with these ones, see? If I go over here and around the corner, these are in line and they're even in line with the ones at the back. Now it might not seem like that big of a deal, but when numbers are a funny thing, like not even consciously, but subconsciously your, your brain sort of sees the symmetricalness you know these ones here will be in line with the ones back there and it, it just helps everything out when when everything all lines up nicely but let's just put a quick uh, staircase up into this so if we go to stair whoops so uh, I went and uh, I came back and I forgot to hit the record button so here's the staircase oh wow you guys missed a lot didn't you <laughs> let's just run this around here to, oops to keep the pattern the same have that running down like there uh, and then we want these little bottom parts now it's really it's really cool that uh, on this part uh, I can't have one there we'll have to do it just like that uh, on this part of the wall the ground is so close isn't it it's really really high up here and uh, but if you go down there you get a little bit more room as the terrain sort of goes up and down that's exactly what we want so i can't extend this down here obviously because that'll join up to the staircase that'll look weird here though we've got enough room for soldiers or guards or whatever to get up and to get down it doesn't look too tight or compact or anything so that works really well look at the giant hole there i need so much needs to be uh to be fixed so we can now get up onto this one we can have multiple ways up and down and stuff we can have like a little door that goes in there to a thinner staircase inside whatever let's just finish this bit off for now so we're going to drop down and uh i want this to be like a, a fountain area i think 
So we're going to just put these underneath here. Uh, oops. That one, that one, and that one. And then put that like this. Uh, what do we want for the floor? Do we want to just have stone on the floor? No. What we'll do is we'll have entirely, not monster egg ones, entirely moss, mossy cobble. I want a fountain here if, uh, if you guys can't sort of gather what I'm trying to do. Uh, or fountain or some sort of waterfall out of the wall there. It's sort of what I'm envisioning. Maybe maybe some uh, little plant life around it. Things like that. We'll put these in here. Like so. Okay. Uh, now what we really should do is bring like the first level up to Mossy as well. So take these ones out. Just so when we look into the water, it makes a little bit more sense. You know, the water's been in here a long time. The stone's been up against it. A little bit of algae is starting to grow on it. A little bit more depth in there. Okay, so let's make a hole there. And this is going to be where the water's going to come out. So if I can, I would like to just make something like that. Ooh, I sort of like that look. Like a little sort of faucet looking thing. Get some water. That's coming out of there. Put the water down in here. Oops. Uh oh. Don't you hate it when you do that? Water down there. That should fix it all. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, I really like that. Maybe having something like um, that one. And then that underneath it. Change that one up to a stair. A uh, stair. I've got one up here. Yoink. Yeah, it just looks like it's flowing over that uh, a little bit neater now. The mossy's down in the floor there. We can't see it too well without the shaders on, but when we put the shaders on, that'll really stand out. And then uh, if we get some cobblestone, or do we want cobblestone or like a gravel? I just want a different block. Maybe a gravel would work. We'll put some gravel in here like this. Uh, I don't want it touching that wall though. And then on top of that, we'll get some leaves. Some will be one high, some will be two high, maybe a little three high one there. Maybe that one's sort of growing up the side a little bit. Something like that. Something like that. I don't want that one there. Something like that. That'll work out nicely. That looks pretty cool. And then we'll get some vines. And some string. Just to, act, just to accent around here. So we don't want to go too crazy with the vines. We just want to have it basically where any uh, where any leaves are. We want to sort of put a little bit of, uh, of, of, of vines at that area. I always like to surround the vines in strings so they don't grow anywhere. I always used to think that they only grow like down. And then I found out that they grow across. And then I even had, I'm sure I had one grow up once. And uh, that really confused me. So I just surround them now. Makes it a lot easier and safer. Yeah, cool. No problem. I like that. You know, uh, it's just a little bit of detail in the middle of the uh, uh, market square there. I want a lot of sort of water features like that around the place. I think they really, they really look quite cool. Anything else? The bottom now joins up nicely. We can go up the stairs to the second level, which has no holes in it. I don't know if we really need to put any detail on this side of the wall. You know how I said at the beginning of the episode that it looks really blank and bland. Well, we're going to be changing that up now to have some cracked stone bricks and some mossy stone bricks scattered through it to make it look a little bit old, maybe a little bit worn, but strong. You know, it still holds its place. But because this is a market square, I want to do the old style sort of uh, wool roofed markets, you know, all multicolors, one red, one, one blue, one, one green, one, you know, all around here. And I think that's going to give us enough color. And we'll either hide enough of the wall, because, I mean, if we think about it, I mean, you've got the legs of it like that. Then you've got the roof of the thing is going to go on somewhere like that. I mean, that's already taken up 90% of the wall. That is the boring part. Uh, you know, that was just like a, a little quick sort of house bit. Uh, but, yeah, if all market squares were like that, not only will the colours fill up the area, it'll also distract you from the fact that the wall doesn't have anything on it apart from some different colored blocks or some different what you call them like variants of blocks so now is the big one what we're going to do is we're going to grab all of the stone brick 
on this wall and that one we don't need to do this one this one's already been done look we've already got uh, cracks and mossy in all over the place it's just gonna be this top wall here uh, I haven't put in the pattern on this part I might do I might try it later on I'm not gonna bother now though you can always do it another day but I did put one in there because it fitted fitted it fit really nicely um, so we want to go all the way up to this corner up here make sure we get all of the cobble something like that well, not cobblestone brick so stone we want not the monster egg ones okay so 98 98 1 and 98 2 so if we now do replace 98 with 98 because we want to keep stone brick in there but we also want 98 1 in there and 98 2 now if we've done that command it would split it evenly to have 33 percent of each block so one in three blocks would be normal one in three blocks would be mossy one in three would be correct i think that's too too broken and 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 mossy so what we're going to do is we're just going to add a few more 98s in here 98 98 98 98 so now for every basically like for every five normal blocks we'll either have one cracked or one mossy and that just puts a nice amount in there it's nothing too crazy it's nothing overpowering the mossy ones really give a nice glow on there but yeah it, it just makes it look a lot more interesting now don't you agree i hope you guys agree because i think i think that looks really really powerful now if we go down onto the uh, floor level i mean look when you look up at the walls how much better does that look than just stone bricks and having such a random effect an automatically generated command randomness saves us trying to make it random it's really hard for humans to try and do random because we tend to always want to do patterns and and, and and you know details so getting a computer to do all the random parts egg uh really helps us i think it looks so cool i already feel really confined in here and it's, it's exactly what we're going for plus it really helped around here with the mossy and stuff didn't it i like this wall here that's fine like that you know we could make it full size but having the sort of banister style is nice you know you can see down into the uh the fountain as you come down also when you're walking down the stairs also reveals the marketplace if we had a big wall there and we continue sort of that wall up and across here uh you'd have to get all the way down here before you get that little opening to the marketplace having it all down like this reveals it a lot quicker i'm really happy I'm really stoked with this area. It's exactly where we wanted to get up to at this point. Now we know how far we can build up to. Uh, you know, we're not going to build houses on top of where the docks are going to be. Uh, we can start sort of doing all kinds of stuff now that this part's in. Let's turn the shaders on. We'll have a quick look before we sign off the episode. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. Really, that is not the same as that. poking out poking out poking out and then on these ones i've obviously set too close back i have um undo hold on uh rotate by minus 90 i bet you guys noticed this oh i bet you did um i need to copy this one. Oh, that's crazy how wrong i've got that and that one oh, this is gonna make it look so much better already oh, i feel like i right it's been like this for like three uh, th like three episodes or so yeah it's better yeah now all the walls actually stick out <laughs> how dumb am i wrote Ninety. Look at that! Oh, so much more depth. This was going to make it easier to put it on there because a lot of it is now protruding uh, rather than recessing. Oh, much better! All right, another squid. We're going to leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you've already done, feel free to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.